Before we get into today's video, I've got three things for you. Number one, if you want to get a notification whenever we post a new video, make sure you ring that bell. Number two, there's a TCG Player affiliate link in the show notes. After clicking that link, every purchase you make on tcgplayer.com helps support this channel. Number three, you'll also find a link to our Patreon where you can support us directly. And now, kick back and enjoy the show. What's up, Spikes? We are back. It is uh, probably our first competitive episode of the season. I don't know. Uh, we, we don't know what what order these are going to end. Time happen. machine. I know. We say this like every time, but we yeah. don't know what... Uh, the, you know. Welcome to our sixth premiere. Yeah, yeah. You'll be able to tell what order we filmed them in because the uh, studio here will be in various uh, states so of being disrepair. finished. Yeah. No, no. Like repair. Though, repair, yeah, repair. 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 Yeah. Various states of repair. Yeah. Unless you watch them in reverse order. Yeah. So we're, we're going with some uh, cool stuff. Uh, you know, Jan and Jerry are bringing some stuff back that they haven't really played too much uh, on the show recently. And uh, Bill and I are bringing some new spice. So uh, I'm going to start things off. I'm playing uh, Emery, Lurker of the Lock. This is a uh, an artifact combo deck. Uh, the two pieces that I'm really looking for are Mirren Spy and Chakram Retriever. Uh, they do the same thing. They untap Emery, uh, which allows me to essentially cast free artifacts from my graveyard. Um, we'll see if it happens. This is a deck that, uh, uh, you know, a good uh, friend of the show, Kyle Hill, uh, turned me on to. So, um, like Kyle Hill, Kyle like Kyle Hill, yeah, Ooh. like Nerdist uh, because science Kyle Hill with the long luxurious locks. We'll uh, link to his channel up here if you want to go check him yeah. out. You definitely you should. should. He's, he's good. Um, but yeah, he plays this deck. He tells me it's really great in his local meta. He's been dunking on Josh Lee Kwai and uh, the rest of the game mates <laughs> folks with this one. So I'm gonna try and do the same thing. Jerry, what do you got going on? Well, I'm bringing back the one, the only, the Blood Pod special. Uh, probably my most winningest deck, even when Jim pi pilots a list that even isn't mine. But uh, <laughs> we have some new spice. Uh, what was the one that just came out? What was that set called? Thrones came out. We got some new cards in here from Thrones. Oh, yeah. And Did I'm, you get the, uh, the the Bloom Tender, the Root Tender? The the big old tree. Yeah. Yeah, we got the big old Vigilant Ooh. Tree. Favor Hushbringer. Elder. Hushbringer. I do not have Hushbringer. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> that card's good. It's very good. Ah, your well, goal. I guess we'll see it again. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna play it again now. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna just uh, try to make an infinite ca amount of cats and uh, swing while holding everyone else to not have their deck do it. The new cat. Uh, I am bringing back Yidris Maelstrom Wielder. Um, I have made some slight tweaks to it with Modern Horizons and Throne of Eldraine because there's some sweet spells I got printed in them. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna attack and then try to cascade to things and we're gonna be here all day. <laughs> it's gonna take forever. Mm -hmm. uh, this deck also got better with the introduction of Modern Horizons. Uh, I'm gonna be playing Yogmoth Thran Physician, uh, who was not printed prior to Modern <laughs> Horizons. Yeah. Uh, Just a commanderless deck. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's a, it's a very sacrifice-based deck. Uh, it's uh, based around creatures that uh, when they die, something cool happens or uh, things that allow you to sacrifice like just dorky creatures for value. Uh, mainly Yogmoth being able to kill opposing creatures and draw cards. It's just a huge tempo swing if you can do it reliably. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to be looking to uh, ramp out Yogmoth and uh, maybe even get a combo. There are some combos in here. Maybe we'll see those. But uh, Maybe we'll see those. Maybe. Maybe. Kill, kill <laughs> creatures, you say. Yeah, I'm going to kill I'll a bunch of creatures. Tell. Protection from humans, you say. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, but yeah, with that being said and done, let's start Sorry. it off. I'm starting the game. Yes, you yes. are. Okay, I will draw a card. You do that in Magic? We do. Mm -hmm. We also play Snow Covered Islands. And then we tap them to cast Arkham's Astrolabes. <laughs> wow. That's good. And then draw, this, draw a what card. Is this pop Hold on. Snow Covered? Okay, yeah, Snow Covered. I would like to draw a card. This is sick. What is this, Popper? What is this, then, Legacy? What uh, is this, Modern? What is this, every format that it's legal in? <laughs> Bandit <laughs> Popper. Bandit Popper. <laughs> That's true. It did get Bandit Popper yeah. recently. I'm going to draw a card. <laughs> I'm going to play a forest into a Avacyn's Pilgrim and oh, pass the turn. forest is so nice. Yeah. Nice. Mm, I'm going to draw this card. Sage Forest. That is foil. Oh, that's I'm gonna a play arena. Polluted well, Delta. Arena Ooh. version. I'm going to pass the turn. I'll draw a card. I'm going to play a swamp, and I'm going to immediately cast this Soul Ring. <gasps> and pass the turn. Mm. I'll draw a card. Sorry, so both Tana and Timna are humans, correct? Correct. Correct. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to play another Snow Covered Island. Second verse, same as the first. Cast a second Astrolabe. <laughs> <laughs> it's just all Astrolabes. All yeah, the way down. Cascading Astrolabes. Okay, I got a plan. Oh my goodness. I'm going to cast this Grim Monolith. Okay. 
And then I'm going to tap the Grim Monolith uh, to add oh. a blue. One mana and Emery. And then I will cast Emery with two colorless floating. That's a combo. Nice. Uh, Emery ETB trigger. Put four cards into our graveyard. This is a Narset part of Reveils, a Snow Covered Island, a Thought Scour, and an Artifact. Oh, Snow Covered Island. Okay. Um, we did it. With two colorless floating, I will move to combat. Take two points of mana. <laughs> and then I'm going to pass the turn. <laughs> Untap. Draw. I'm going to play a Desolation, otherwise known as a Badlands. And I'm going to play, uh, you know, just, just this tree. Oh, tree. Hero Elder. So it's. It a is currently two -two? just a 2 2. It's a 2 2. And I will pass the turn. Uh, at the end of your turn, I will crack my Polluted Delta going to 39. So I'm going to get this breeding pool tapped because it is Jerry's end step. Yes. Uh, are you going to continue to be done? I am continuing to be done. Excellent. I'm going to untap and draw. Well, yeah. I am going to cast a Once Upon a Time for zero because Ooh. it is the Ooh. first spell I've cast this game. Hmm. And I'm going to take this Underground C. Under the C. Uh, random order. Just going to shuffle. Once Upon I, a Time. I a C far underground. <laughs> I regret my decision already. <laughs> I should have taken nothing. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we get them. <laughs> At least it wasn't a savannah. <laughs> That's true. Uh, well, I'm going to play this Underground C. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Stop. No. Stop. No. Stop. Please. Please. Uh, and then I'm going to cast a Death Road Shaman. Ooh. Ooh. And um, pass turn. I use dead creatures for things. We're going to be the first YouTube channel to get um, demonetized <laughs> because of a copyright strike from Sir Elton John. <laughs> or Disney. <laughs> you know. It'll be very exciting. Uh, I'm going to play oh, Swamp. Love to get to talk to Sir Elton John. <laughs> Can't decide what I want to do. I think... Even if it is through litigation. Actually, yeah. In, in the event that Jerry has some sort of a, uh, a dealy, you know, a thing. Um, oh, a, a, I, a null rod type effect. Uh, I'm just going to cast this Yacht Moth. He's, he's going to come out to play. In uh, the event that Jerry shenanigans. Yeah. And uh, with that, I'm going to pass the turn. Okay. I'm going to untap. I will draw a card. I'm going to play this snow-covered island, and I'm going to cast a Fabricate. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. I'm going to get this Mana Crypt off of the Fabricate. Nice. And then I will immediately cast it. Oh, boy. Oh, so much mana. Boy. <laughs> uh, then I'm going to pass the turn. All right. I'm going to untap my magic cards and draw another magic card oh this how many, uh how many magic cards do you have not enough okay too many i'm gonna i'm gonna do the fun thing i'm gonna tap three and play this uh timna the weaver mm -hmm. oh it's a three three now it is a three three uh with vigilance and then i'm gonna move to combat mm -hmm. i'm going to swing I'll block <laughs> is it human <laughs> no <laughs> oh <laughs> it's a tree folk druid yeah. It is a tree folk druid. I'm going to swing at Jan for three. Wow, hurtful. Yeah, that's fine. Jan for three, and also for free, Jan because it doesn't tap. 36. 36. 36. Uh, I'm going to trigger Timna in my second main phase to lose a life draw card. So I'm at, oh, not one life. Jerry's I'm at 39. There isn't one life. Yeah, you heard, <laughs> you heard it here first. I'm going to draw a card. That's not great. I'm then going to... Hmm. Which one do I want to play? I'm going... Well, I guess I'm going to tap Fabro Elder for Abzan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to play an offense of the Foremost. Oh, no. Wow. That's like flavorful. <laughs> Ooh. That's, that's I, pretty good. bad for me. Yeah, pretty bad for me. I guess it's creatures. 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 Right? creatures. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. That's, that's fine for me. <laughs> I will then pass the turn. Awesome. I will untap mm. and draw. <laughs> I will play this Blood Crypt and go to 34 because I don't need life points. Uh, I'm going to exile... Oh, you have islands in your graveyard, don't you? Because yes. you emeried? Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm okay. going to exile one of your islands. Which one? Um, <laughs> the snow-covered one. <laughs> uh, let's go with this one. Uh, so I'm going to make a black, a green, a blue, and a red. And I'm going to cast... Those are Yidris, my not. <gasps> There's a Yidris on the battlefield. Yep, that's an Ogre Wizard. He's an Ogre Wizard. Uh, and then I'm going to pass the turn. I will untap. 
I need blockers for Jerry's 3 3. What about my 4 4? Nah. Nah. <laughs> nah. Pass. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Oh, Anafenza can't put 1-1 one, one counters on the Faber Elder because it's got Vigilance. <gasps> Another tap creature? Cre yeah. He can tap it. Yeah, he can, well, yeah, you can attack and then in response tap it. For mana. That's funny, okay. I guess. <laughs> um, I'm going to tap this Soul Ring in the Swamp, and I'm going to cast a Commander's Sphere. Uh -huh. I'm going to tap these two and cast a Doomed Dissenter. That's, that makes a... Uh, with a dies, it makes a 2-2. Two -two. Two -two. Okay. So uh, currently, it's a 2-mana 1-1. One -one. Mm, it is. Uh, and then I'm going to tap this and cast Imperial Seal. When it dies, it also makes a 1-1? One -one? Yes. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to Swan Song your Imperial Seal. <gasps> That's another creature I can sacrifice! Yeah. Perfect. Ooh. Okay, uh, Swan Song resolves, and I'll put a 2-2 two -two burger into play. Okay. Part of the resolution. Uh, I got nothing else, so I'll pass the turn. Okay, I'm gonna untap. I'm gonna flip a coin. I'm gonna flip, what do we want? Red Rakdos or Black Rakdos, right? We'll say Black Rakdos is damage. Black Aha. Rakdos. Take three, go to 37. Damage. Wow, Bill's still at yeah, Bill's 40 winning. life. Not for long. Uh, <laughs> attack him. In my upkeep, I would like to cast Brainstorm. Yeah, yep. yeah you got it, man. Yeah. Three cards. Yeah, I'm gonna put these two back on top. Brainstorm and resolves. Move to my draw step. Draw this one. I would like to then cast this Lion's Eye Diamond. Ooh. Uh oh. And I'm going to cast this Ristic Study. Hmm. Hmm. That's fine. That's yeah. fine. Not that Mono Black has any way to deal with enchantments. <laughs> That's fine. Then I would like to pass the turn. I'll allow it. <laughs> I will untap and draw a card. That Lion's Eye Diamond was scary. <laughs> it probably still is. <laughs> I'm, I wow. saw the Lion's Eye Diamond and I'm like, oh, this is terrifying. I will move to combat. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. I'm going to declare Anafenza at Jan. And then Timna at Jim. Trigger Anafenza to attempt to put a counter on Timna. Uh -huh. Okay, move to blocks. Uh, Jan. Yeah, I... Will you block this Anafenza? No. Even if I shrink it? Oh, if you shrink it. I would not do that if I were you. No. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to block the Timna. Okay. Emery to the command zone. Uh, I'll take four. Go to 30. Okay. I'm going to gain three and go to 42 and then go down to 41 uh, in my second main phase mm -hmm. uh, to draw a card. Yep. We're going to tap these three uh, using the red mana from my... Badlands, and I'm going to play a Blood Moon. Are you paying the one? I am not. You can draw a card. Brilliant. Um, I have no responses to Blood Moon. Or sorry, I guess Jan has priority. Yeah. Yeah, Bill? I have no responses. Yep. Okay, cool. I want to tap Faber Elder for four mana now. That's absurd. For uh, the Blood Pod colors. <laughs> Using two of it. I'm going to play an Arcane Signet, paying the one. So now one I have floating. one mana floating. And which, then, which color? Hold up, Jerry paid the one. Yeah, that's weird. When, so I won't pay the one on a Mystic Remora. <laughs> I'll pay the four. That's a four. four, that's a four. Yeah. I will feed the fish, but when I can Correct. afford to pay the one on a Jerry, Mystic I'm Study. Bugging, yeah. <laughs> anyway. So, oh yeah, I have to decide which one I paid. And which ones I used to this. Yeah. I used the white and the black to cast this. And then the red to pay the one. So you have a green floating. I have a green floating. Okay. Uh, I'm going to tap this for another green. And I am going to play a... I'm going to play a root maze, paying the one. All artifacts and lands come into play tapped. Oh, okay. Oh, Lion's Eye Diamond does not tap to <laughs> sacrifice. Oh, Correct. God. I will then pass the turn. 
Jerry, I feel like we're on the same wavelength here. You're doing exactly what I want you to do. <laughs> well, I'll play this tapped forest. It's even a non-basic. It is, yeah. <laughs> or it is a ba it is a basic, mm -hmm. so it doesn't get affected by it blood moon, but basic. it does get affected by root mass. That's so funny. I guess I'll attack Jerry for five. Yeah. Nice. I am down to 36, 36 with five Yidris five damage. Yidris. That's, That's probably important to track. Yidris is a 5-4, eh? Yidris is indeed a 5-4. I'm triggered. Yeah, I would... That's a thing. Is it a delayed trigger? How does that work? No, it just it's it's triggers trigger. on combat oh, damage yeah. and then lasts for the rest of the turn. Oh, okay. Uh, all right, I'm going to exile the last island from Jim's you graveyard. Got it. For a black. Uh, and I'm going to cast an Imperial Seal. Trigger oh, it. Ooh, and that? trigger that. Uh, yeah, might as well. Oh. That's, that's been my rib now. Uh, oh, this right. gets. This gets a lot of things. Does it? You have more than that? <laughs> it gets a mana crypt. It comes into play tapped. <laughs> uh, so you cast it. Yeah, and right, cast it. Panel one. <laughs> yeah, okay, right. so yeah. now Imperial Seal. I'm going to resolve my Imperial Seal. Yeah, that happens. All right, so I'm going to put this spell on top of my library and lose two life. 28. 28. We got him on the ropes, boys. Yeah, I know. I'm just like dead, dead guy. <laughs> he did. Um, I yeah. Pick up my hand uh, again. I will say go. All right. Untap all of these things. I'm going to draw a card. Okay. Uh, I'm going to play a swamp. Get best. I bet you guys didn't see that one coming. Nope. It's tapped. <laughs> oh wow! Uh, I'm going to. Which one of these do I want to do? I think I'm going to float a mana, and tap the commander sphere and the soul ring. I, again, floating a mana, and I'm going to cast a monic tutor. Hmm. I have no responses to monic tutor. Oh, are you paying the one? Uh, yes, with the one I had floating. Okay, perfect. <laughs> I have nothing. Yeah, I also have no responses to okay. monic tutor. Uh, I'm going to find this card. Oh, that it's, one? It's face it? down. In your hand. <laughs> Take it. Uh, this is not a permanent. Uh, not paying the one. James has some mana He's available. He's going to cast Yogg Will. Not paying the one. Uh, I'm going to cast Nest of Scarabs. Drop card? Yes. Oh, ho, ho, Nest of Scarabs. Uh... Can I read so, Nest of Scarabs? Nest of Scarabs reads, whenever you put one um, uh, one or more minus one minus one counters on a creature, create that many one one black insect creature tokens. Oh, okay, perfect. I believe this goes infinite. Uh, well, no. Uh, I guess as long as he has targets, exactly. right? As as he has no, because I can choose. I can, it's up to one. Yeah. Right. But, uh, but I do but have yeah, to put you minus one. You don't one. get yeah. the minus I can, I can kill your guys' creatures. Yes. I'm mostly probably just going to kill Jerry's stuff. Yep. And then hold up for this Yidris. Because, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but anyway, Nest of Scarabs. Yeah, I have no responses. Yeah. No, I got nothing. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so I'm going to sacrifice this bird token to put a minus one, minus one counter on Can we just uh, shortcut set. this? Are you just going to kill my board? Um, uh, I think I just want to kill the Anafenza for now. Okay. Yeah. So the... I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm going to pay f four times. Like, it, these, all, these all have to resolve themselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to do that uh, four times. I'm left with a 1-1. One, one. Uh, yeah. Okay, so, so to be build. clear, your loop is sacrifice the yes. bird uh, to activate Yogmoth's ability, putting a minus one minus one counter on Anafenza. Yeah. Uh, when the minus one minus one counter gets placed, you make a what? One, an insect, insect. Yeah. Black insect. Which you can then Sack use to deal. start a loop that you can just repeat until yes. creatures are dead. And um, now, so uh, we don't have the insect token. I know that we don't. Um, yeah, we we, know. yeah. Yeah, we don't have it. So this is just going to be my insect token. Okay. Sorry, everybody at home. Um, but yes. yeah, so I'm gonna do that four times. So uh, Bill's gonna draw four I'm gonna draw cards. Four cards. Draw four cards. And my Anafenza is dead. Yes. So Bill's at 36. Uh, so that's the reason why it's like not quite infinite because it costs Bill a life each turn he casts mm -hmm. yes. it and he has to draw the card. Yeah, yeah. he also needs targets. Yeah, because yeah, otherwise I don't get to make guys. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, so I played a land, I did that thing. Uh, I'm just gonna. Yeah, I'm just gonna pass the turn. Okay. I'm going to sacrifice your lion's eye diamond on okay. tap your man. Green. Grim monolith. It's not the worst. It depends <laughs> on the cards in my hand. That's right? true. Uh, Based on the information I have. Okay, uh, so we're going to do the same thing. Black Rakdos is damage. <laughs> I'm going to go to uh, 34. All my damage is through. And I'll draw a card as my card for turn. I would like to play this snow covered island. Tapped. And one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> one, two, three, four. I'm going to pay one and cast Emery. God, that's so good. That's going to trigger Emery. It's tapped. 
It is not uh, tapped. Isn't it creature? No, it's no, artifacts. artifacts. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> uh, then I would like to mill four. Yep. Factor fiction. Lotus petal. Inventor's fair. And Urza's bobble. Huh. Just a, a bobbly dude. You know, the old giving it the old bobbly dude. Nope. 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 <laughs> nope. nope. Comment down below if you want that printed on a t-shirt. <laughs> no. Nope. Give, give him the old bobbly dude. dude. Not, not allowed. <laughs> Still not allowed. I'm going to nope. pass the turn. I don't agree. <laughs> I'm going to untap. Send it to our marketing department. <laughs> Draw a card. I'm going to move to combat. I'm going to swing Faber Elder at Jan and Timna at Jim. Anybody have effects before blockers? Uh, I have no effects before blockers, Bill. Um, I'm going to uh, pay a life and sacrifice this uh, to target Faber Elder uh, with Yawgmoth's ability to put Repeating him on the as a loop? Or uh, well, I, I'm uh, seeing if the first one responds, if he has a response to that. Tap it to add uh, four color. Okay. Uh, so I no longer have uh, a token here. Uh, does the minus one, minus one counter go on there? Yep. Okay, trigger. Is that three? Oh, it is four colors. You have a blood moon. Yeah, because yeah. you have a blood moon. Uh, so I'm going to attempt to do that three more times. It is dead. Okay. Okay, okay so, so Bill so loses now, four. I lose four, draw well, four. Before we, before we go to damages, I, I'm going to use the mana to cast this in two. Yeah, yeah but Bill's... Yeah, oh, yeah, but oh, I, oh, I draw right, right. He has to yeah, do yeah. that. So, so Bill's a 32. 32, yeah. I forgot about that part. Um, then do I want to also kill the Tim? Okay, so Jerry's cast in two. Jerry has cast. Jerry has okay, cast so in two. we are in priority for in two. No effects for in two. Uh, I'm gonna sacrifice this to kill your Abyssin's Pilgrim as well. Pay, pay, pay another life. life. And then that's, that's good. That's it. Uh, I'm gonna dispel the in two. Uh, wait, are you paying the one for in two? Yes, with the one of the other three blowing that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, sorry, I will dispel the in two. Okay, Entomb down. So does Timna damage gets through? Uh, no, I'm blocking. Okay, cool. I'm going to gain. <laughs> you still gain life. Yeah. Jerry's 39. back up to 39. Yeah. Second main phase. I'm going to tap three, paying the one for Rhystic Study. I'm going to play a Sylvan Library and pass the turn. Uh, you had two mana floating. Oh, no. No, no, no. no, no, no. That's my combat. combat. Yeah, we're good. My we're bad. Good. All right, done? Yep, absolutely. On tap. On my upkeep, uh, I'm gonna flip the Rakdos. <laughs> red Rakdos, no damage. <laughs> All right, red Rakdos is no damage. Oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. Wow, just put that is there. Rakdos uh, is cruel cool mistress. I knew about this card. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you put it on top of your library. Yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna go to combat. Okay. Um, do I wanna kill this Yidris right now? No, I think that's fine. Okay, I'm going to attack Jerry for five. Hiya! No blocks. 34. 10 Yidris damage. Trigger Yidris. Trigger Yidris. All right. I'm going to float two colorless and a red from my mountain. Mm -hmm. My swamp, land swamp of mountain mountain. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm going to cast Manamorphose. Please hang on. No. Okay, I'll draw a card. Uh, trigger your address. Uh, yep. Ancestral mm -hmm. Vision. Yeah, you go for it. Are you casting it? I am going to cast it. Are you paying the one? No. <laughs> I will draw a card. I'm Jerry today. <laughs> Jerry pays the one. Jerry he pays does, the one. Yeah, he, he doesn't, doesn't pay, the pay the four. He doesn't pay the Jerry four. pays the one when he has the extra mana. <laughs> I don't. All right, cast, <laughs> cast Ancestral Vision. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right, cool. I'm going to draw three cards. You got it. Three. All right, now I have a Manamorphose to resolve. Um, so I'm going to add a black and a green, and I'm going to draw a card. Mm -hmm. All right. I have black and green. Uh, I am gonna Don't you have a colorless floating as well? Uh, I do, and I have a colorless yeah. floating. Yeah, black. Uh, I'm going to cast Assassin's Trophy, targeting Root Maze, Are triggering Yidris. No. I have one color this photo. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah. So trigger the... Yeah, trigger the Cascade. Uh, wild Canter. You got it. Are you paying one? No. Draw card? Yeah. 
wild uh, canter ETBs. Mm -hmm. It doesn't well, have a wild trait. canter on the stack. On the stack, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm good with that. Mm -hmm. So wild canter resolves, and now assassin trophy resolves? Effects to assassin's Ooh. trophy. Nope. Yep. Okay, yeah, that's good. Uh, I'm going to go search my uh, library for a basic land first. I'm going to get this uh, planes into play untapped. And it's hey. not even a mountain. Nice. No, it is a mountain. No, it's not. <laughs> so I'm going to play this basic. It's not a mountain. Uh, I guess I'm going to cast a vampiric tutor. Are you paying the one? No. Draw card. My plan is to mill Jim. <laughs> uh, okay, so vampiric tutor. Vampiric tutor? Yep. Uh, cascade trigger. True. Yeah, go ahead with your cascade. <laughs> So cast Lotus Bloom off the Cascade, not paying one. Okay, drop card. Um, I have no responses to Lotus Bloom. I think neither do I. In response, I think I'm going to attempt to kill your Deathrite Shaman by paying two life. Okay. Um, then I am going to exile this polluted Delta from my graveyard okay. to add a blue. Okay. So uh, I fill at 29? Yeah. Then it, then it dies out directly yeah. cards. Okay. Lotus Bloom on the stack? Lotus Bloom on the mm -hmm. stack. Yeah, no more effects. Okay. Lotus I have no effects to Lotus Bloom. Neither do I. Okay. Vampiric Tutor on the stack. Phil? Uh, no effects. I would like to pay two life and mental step it. Sure. I have Jim at 32. Uh -huh. um, so I'm going to spend the colorless I have floating and a red to cast a Grim Model. Uh, trigger. Yes. Yes. Uh, I'm not paying one for anything. Okay. Draw a card. Um, Yidris trigger. I have no responses to. Okay. Uh, Island. Mox diamond. So you're casting the mox diamond. Casting not, mox paying diamond not paying one. Draw a card. So mox diamond. Uh, mox diamond on the stack. Okay. No um, effects. I have no effects to mox diamond. Okay. So mox diamond. Uh, mox ETB. diamond ETB. I'm gonna discard this mystery forest. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, Grim, Monolith. Grim Monolith on the stack. I also have no responses to Grim Monolith. Okay. Uh, I'll add three more colorless. Should we have been uh, keeping and... track of Storm at any point, Jan? I mean, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure it out. Storm can be somewhere here. Uh, cast Past in Flames, trigger Yidris. Uh, Yidris trigger, go ahead. Sylvan Library. Okay. Um, Are you casting it? No. You're not casting, not casting it? Casting okay. Library. Uh, yes, yeah, so Rhystic Study trigger on Pass in Flames. Pass in Flames, yeah. I'm drawing a card. Um, Pass in Flames on the stack. Go ahead on Pass in Flames. Okay. Uh, we're going to crack this for three red. I spent two of it to cast Metamorphose. Are you paying one? No. Draw a card. Uh, uh, Manamorphose triggers. Uh, it does not trigger. It's from hand. Oh, from oh, hand. Yeah. Oh, okay. So none of these are gonna. True. So none of these are gonna trigger. Okay. So Manamorphose on the stack. Uh, I have no effects. Neither do I. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna add blue or a black and a blue, and then draw a card. So then the black and the red cast Talisman of Impulse. Not paying trigger Yidris. Uh -huh. Lotus Petal. Cast Thanks Lotus Petal. Yeah, I'm not going to pay. Okay, draw a card. Alright. Uh, well, I have one. Let's go colorless. Black. Sacrifice this for a blue. Sacrifice this for a... So I should have one, two, three, four. Leave that. Uh, cast Walking Ballista for X is going to equal 2, so CMC 4. Ping 1? Yep. And you're cascading, I yes, guess? Yes, trigger just for 4. What's that? Trigger you just, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So, Mox of that. Do you get that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, X okay. is 4. For 4, yeah. Or, yeah, X is 2 times Okay, two drawing off of that? Yep. 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 Okay. Uh, okay. Um, Mox up on the stack, I have no responses. Okay. Walking Ballista on the stack. Hmm. I also have no responses. Surrender's play with two counters. Yeah. Hiya. 
Yeah, well, that was a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> so go ahead. Haha, <laughs> vindicated. Um, let's see. I don't want to do anything at the end of your turn. I don't think so. I'm just going to untap. Uh, upkeep. Do you want to do anything? No. Okay. Just checking. You have this walking ballista. I do. Oh. I'm going to cast a mana crypt. Pain one? Uh, no. Struck crit? Yes. Uh, I'm going to pay two with a one floating, one colorless floating. I am going to pay the one for this, uh, but I'm going to cast Pitiless Plunderer. Ooh, what does that do? Whenever another creature I control dies, I get a treasure. Ooh. Is it Ooh. creature or non-token creature? Uh, another creature. Another another creature. creature. That's really good. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah. Um, how do we feel about that? He, he I don't paid like the one? That. Yeah, he paid, paid the one. He paid the one. I would like to... Uh, pay a life and cast Force of Will, exiling Future Sight. Sure. Jim Jim 31. Uh, so I'm going to play the Swamp as my oh. for the turn. I just cast the Mana Crypt. Ooh, Didn't yeah. see that one coming. Mind games. Uh, I'm going to attempt to put a minus one, minus one counter on Walking Ballista by sacrificing this and paying life. Uh, I am going to... I probably just shoot him in the face so he has a little, one less life to work with. If you're gonna, if you're gonna do anything with it. Yeah, he also doesn't make his insect. If yeah, you, if, if, he, if, if I shoot him for two, he doesn't make his insect, but he still has the doom dissenter, so he can still do. Yeah, you could shoot the doom dissenter. Then he still gets a two-two. I still get the two-two. Yeah, you could shoot. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It's uh, like one and one. It's better than two to the face, right? Yeah. So I'll deal one to the doom dissenter and one sure. to. Okay, so Bill goes to 27. Yeah. Alright, uh, so Doom Dissenter will die. Uh, trigger, make a 2-2. Two, two. A 2-2 two, two zombie. Uh, then, I'm going to... So the original uh, targeting fizzles. So the original because... targeting fizzled, yeah. So yeah. I, don't get a, I don't get anything off of Nest of Scarabs, because yeah. uh, there was no mm -hmm. uh, creature that died. Or, there was no minus one, minus one counter placed, rather. Yeah. Um... Then I think what I'm going to do, now that that's open, I'm going to attempt to cast Blood Artist. Hang on. Uh, no. Draw a card. Um, Blood Artist is not great. No, that's a, that's, a, that's a bad time. I think I'm going to activate Arkham's Astrolab. Lab, Astrolab? Astrolab? <laughs> Astrolab. Uh, to make a blue and a colorless, mm -hmm. and then tap for another blue and counterspell your Blood Artist. You got it. Yep. He that is good. gone. Uh, I'm going to, as a sorcery with nothing on the stack, attempt to cast Necromancy. Necromancy. Um, do I have another counterspell for this? I could discard my hand. Would that <laughs> help? Are you paying the one? No. <laughs> uh, I have no effects to Necromancy. Okay. Uh, so Necromancy enters the battlefield and stops being just an enchantment and becomes enchant uh, creature mm -hmm. in a graveyard. Uh, I'm going to target Pitiless Plunderer Ugh. and attempt to put it back into play. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to sacrifice this zombie token targeting Yidris. Uh, yep. uh, so I'm going to pay four life, make four treasures, Yidris dies. I'll make four treasures, draw four cards, and I am at 23. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. so um, I'm going to use three of them, going to one treasure, and I'm going to attempt to cast Dross Harvester. I'm sorry, what? This does it, doesn't it? Uh, whenever a creature is put into a graveyard from play, I gain two life. It's a three mana okay. four four with protection from white, and at the end of my turn, I lose four. Are you paying one? I'm not going to. Okay. Uh, I'm going to pass priority on Dross Harvester. It removes the pay life component, but he still needs creatures Targeting to too. target. Mm -hmm. so yeah, I'm running out of those. He is limited. Sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I have no effects. To yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay. Sorry, Mister. Uh, so I'm going to sacrifice this zombie token three times. I get, I net gain three life because yep. uh, mm -hmm. I gain two each time, and I'm going to kill Tim now. So Bill will go to twenty six. Draw three. Yeah. Bill's going to draw three. Uh, Maybe three treasures. Mm -hmm. Draw three cards. Uh, so I'm going to use one of my treasures, not paying the one, uh, and I'm going to cast Vampiric Tutor. 
Draw a card. Correct. Yeah, I'm going to pass priority on Vampiric Tutor. Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay, uh, so I'm going to search my library for a card and put that one on top and lose two life. Hey, Bill, what, what card do you get? Uh, it's, a, it's a card. It's a doozy. It's a doozy. It's um, a doozy. There's one more target. See. There's one more target. It's a Wild Cantor, so that means he can blank my, my yep. dealio. Oh. Yep. I'm going to uh, sacrifice uh, the Nest of Scarabs token three times targeting Dross Harvester. Ooh. Okay, yep. so Bill's going to gain three life, go to 27, and draw three cards. And stay the zombie in play. And draw three and cards. I get six more treasures. Six more? Three, three, three more. more. Yeah, sorry. Six, six total. total. <laughs> uh, then I'm going to use two of them, not paying the one. And I'm going to cast Butcher Ghoul. That's got Undying. undying. It's a it's a two mana one okay. one with Undying. So yeah. that is now a loop because he doesn't have to rely on a nest of this scarabs. It at least gains him infinite life and infinite mana. And infinite yeah. cards. Because I can yeah. sacrifice the Butcher Ghoul to right. put a plus one plus one counter on it and do something. Right. Okay. So the are you paying scares. one for Butcher Ghoul? Uh, no. Drunker. Okay, I'm going to pass priority on Butcher Ghoul. I will as well. Yep. Okay, uh, so I'm going to uh, use. Uh, I'm going to sacrifice Butcher Ghoul to Yogmoth to target Pitiless Plunderer, trigger Undying. Uh, so I've gained a life, put a minus one, minus one counter. On this, this comes in with a plus one, plus one counter, and, and, you, make an, and you make a second an guy and draw a card. And you've gained a treasure as well. And I've gained a treasure. Yeah. Uh, so now, the loop that I'm proposing, I'm going to sacrifice one of these, go back down to one, to target the Butcher Ghoul, to put a minus one, minus one counter on it, uh, in addition to make a guy, gain a life, draw mm -hmm. a card. Yeah. Yes, uh, how many times would you like to repeat that? I'm going to repeat it this minute. Okay, mm -hmm. Bill's gaining like 80 life. Yeah, something Actually, like hang on. Before I do that too much, uh, I am going to cast this Vindictive Are Vampire. Are you paying one? Uh, I am going to pay the one. Okay. I'll go down uh, that, that, kill, that deals us damage, right? Yes. Yeah. So there we go. Okay. Yep. Uh, but damage to each opponent. Oh, I guess, yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. Okay, and you did pay the one for that? Uh, I did pay the one, yes. Okay. Now, uh, you don't need to cast any more spells to continue this loop. Correct. So you are done paying one. I'm going to pass priority. Yeah. Yep. Let's do it. All right, uh, so now I'm going to do that for, let's say, the remainder of my deck, uh, and Vindictive Vampire is going to make it so that I gain two life, and you guys lose one for each time I sacrifice a creature. So you need to deal at most 34 damage. You ha do you have at least 34 cards in your deck? Yes. yes. Oh, okay. Very much so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Yog Moth. Yeah. I drew so many cards, just so that you guys can see on the camera. <laughs> that was my hand. Yeah, this, was, this was mine before going in. Yep. This, this was mine. Uh, including <laughs> such all-stars as Mystic Forge, Cloud Key, Sensei's Divining Top, um, along with all sorts of other fun stuff. I did have a Mission Briefing in my hand and an Aether Spellbomb. The Aether Spellbomb would have come into play tapped because of the Root Maze, which is why I didn't cast it last turn. Hmm. Um, although it like might have been okay to roll out, uh, but I did end up needing most of my mana. It was kind of awkward because the yeah. mana crypt I needed to hold up to make my second blue. Mm -hmm. um, the mission briefing would have been like fine. I also had a Narset's reversal. I wasn't sure if you were going to cast Ad Nauseam. Mm -hmm. So I was like waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. And I'm like, uh, do I just like want to steal this Ad Nauseam? <laughs> but, um, yeah, that would be pretty good with your deck. But I cast like eight counter spells that round. Yeah. So yeah. Like, I think you, know, you, you did everything that you possibly could. Yeah. I was like <laughs> yeah. digging for Pact, I guess. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was still an interesting situation. Um, it's going to come up in the comments. I could have flashback the Assassin's Trophy to kill the Nest of Scarabs, so that's my bad. And probably should have. <laughs> yeah. Probably should have. 100% and, should and have. And also, I should have killed Hesiodrus uh, before. Yeah, yeah there yes, was, I don't think there was any I, reason. Not I really no. should have. I talked myself out of it, and I don't remember what my reasoning was. You, so. um, uh, if you had done that, I wouldn't have drawn any of those cards, no. right? Yeah. And yeah, it, just, uh, it, it would have increased you would have off at the beginning of your turn, yeah. right? So. Um, yes. Yeah, I don't know at what point I had the past in flames. <laughs> Mind you, I guess I wouldn't have burned any of my uh, counter spells on Jan's stuff if you had yeah. done that, and yeah. you would have had to fight through more. Yeah. So you might not have pulled it off because I had a hard counter spell. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, which I could have used for something, but well, I, you had, I was I was mana. You had the hard that, counter so. spell. You had a mental misstep. Mental misstep, and you had a yeah. So there was there was so, a lot there, like because I, I had to use well. the the vampiric tutor. I think was the last tutor in my hand. 
Um, so that's what I, I vampiric tutored for Butcher Ghoul, just so that everybody knows. Oh, well, yeah. Because that card is really, really good. Huh. Um, but, How many uh, times that's happened in history? <laughs> at least once. But, uh, yeah, no, it was, uh, it was, Jerry, I love you very much. I came into this knowing uh, that uh, it was going to be a hard battle because Yawgmoth is literally the direct counter to to a yeah. Blood Pod deck. And I, I you, you know going in, but it's still... You still, you still feel yeah, no bad. No guts, no glory, right? Yeah, <laughs> man. I got to do the dream of Dork into Faber, Elder into Timna. Yeah, what do you think of that it card? It was really good. I, yeah, I, I mean, mentioned it during the game, but like that card's insane, right? I was about to say, being able to do uh, a Timna and then also cast an Anafenza on my turn four. Yeah. And then from there, play a Blood Pod and then have a tap for four mana into things before it died. It was. It would have been insane if uh, I didn't. If you know, there's one board on the side that could. Uh, Nuke my entire board at a moment's notice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. If, uh, if there wasn't this sort of thing, uh, targeted creature removal. You know what I was pretty in for? Um, I, I'm surprised because I didn't even think about this going into this game. Uh, this is the first time I've piloted Emery, and yeah. uh, I hope all of you folks on the Emery Discord uh, will, you know, forgive my <laughs> misplays, I guess. But I love blocking with Emery. I was going to say, I, re I didn't realize it when I attacked it. I was like, oh yeah, he doesn't want that on the battlefield. Because you yeah. just cast yeah. it for one again in Mill more. I didn't hit any artifacts on that mm -hmm. Mills, which I guess I hit you the Lotus, Lotus Petal. Battle, yeah. It was um, kind of rough milling the two times. You hit an Urza's Bobble. But yeah. Like, but you I also wanted to didn't. block and then... The, the rough part I found with this deck is it's kind of tough to find um, Chakram Retriever and Mirren Spy, which are the two combo pieces. Mm -hmm. Well, two of the combo yeah. pieces with, uh, with Emery. Yeah, Blue has trouble with finding creatures, yeah. generally. So the rough part is, like, you want something that's going to untap Emery when something enters the battlefield, right? Typically, like, Lotus Petal or something yeah. like that. Paradox so that you can <laughs> Card be um, sick. <laughs> so, or maybe you've got, like, I don't know, maybe you I, I wouldn't run it, but maybe you could run, like, a, a zero-drop artifact creature and run yeah. Intruder Alarm. Yeah. But it's yeah. a little loose. I, I don't like running that then many deck you've, cards. Then you've pushed it onto, you have trouble finding the Intruder Alarm. Now, right, though. that's yeah, exactly it's it, because like, it's not like Blue's finding enchantments, yeah. but... Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. It was uh, it was good. I, I like the idea of blocking Tim Nometas with Emery because I had no trouble recasting it the second time mm -hmm. for one mana. Nope. And honestly, I probably could have cast it a third time for zero oh, for, for no mana either. Yep. Yeah, easily. It's so gross. So um, yeah, I think this this card always costs one as far yep. as I'm concerned. Um, yep, pretty close. <laughs> I'm just like. Just be a punching bag until I can <laughs> hit someone with my five four ogre. Yeah, I mean you did it twice. Did. Twice. Yeah, yeah, you you, you got times. me. Yeah, your ogre wizard is like I would like to cast fist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would have done what I did on my last turn, the turn prior, if it wasn't for that root maze. Yeah. When you were like cast past in flames, I'm like this might be a counterspell moment, but I kind of want to draw more cards. Yeah, <laughs> so I was digging for the mirrors by the. the I was doing the math wizard. and I was like, if he counters it, I still have enough mana to flash it back. Yeah, I didn't know where I was going. Yeah. I was like, fine. I was At like, least that know, like that uses a lot of. You're not paying the one. Yeah. You do what you want to do now. <laughs> yeah, so, so that was a that was a good yeah. game. Do you think you're gonna bring Yawgmoth back? Yeah, yeah. This is like my favorite deck now. Really? <laughs> yeah, that's sick. Uh, Has this supplanted Najila? Like maybe, oh. <laughs> which is super weird because going from five colors to mono black is yeah, is no a, doubt a very strange. Do you have any you, upgrades you but, want to make to it yet? Uh, yeah, I, I made a lot of... Um, I made some upgrades from Mitch's version. Uh, like, I felt like... Um, it, I added in the Sensei's Divining Top Bolus of Citadel um, right. uh, Aetherflux Reservoir combo. Yep. I also added in a couple of reanimate shenanigans just in case, like, my creatures get countered or I discard yeah. them for some reason, then I can, like, get them back in an yeah. easy way. Um, but there are still a couple of, like, cute cards. Like, I kept... Um, uh, what's that one? Surf. Yeah, uh, Sanger Autocrat. The one Sanger Autocrat that makes surfs, yeah. Um, see, it's good because yeah, it makes good. four creatures yeah, that you can sacrifice. Good. And then, like, with Supernatural Stamina and uh, other cards that, like, give it undying, essentially. Yeah. Um, you Do you play of... Ad Nauseam? No. <laughs> no. I, I was looking at the list. I was seeing some four drops, and I was like, mm. Yeah, I was looking yeah, at the list um, for some inspiration, and I saw that they were running Ad Nauseam, but they were also running, like, Villas and Carrick and mm -hmm. Olus's Citadel That's and high. like a CDC Undead Vizier. Like it was running so many five, six, seven, eight drops. Yeah. And like maybe it works, but I just wouldn't be comfortable casting an Ad Nauseum in there. Like somebody did the math on the Gitrog. There's a, a CDH post. We'll link it in the comments below. But somebody did a, a simulation of Ad Nauseums uh, through various meta decks. Yeah. And they found that it wasn't the end of the world to run like a, an Eldrazi Titan or whatever mm -hmm. with Ad Nauseum in Gitrog. 
as long as the rest of your deck was appropriately low. Yeah. Oh yeah, this deck also ran uh, an Ulamog. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I think <laughs> like, the whole idea behind that was that like you can run it. Um, every once in a while, you're obviously going to get donked for 10 or whatever, yeah, right? Yeah. It's just the numbers and percentages. Yeah, right? but I mean, you're only drawing like a third of your deck. So like, yeah. you might hit it, you might not. You probably mm -hmm. won't. Um, but I think running more than one, like six, seven, eight drop is a little rough. Yeah. Ad nauseum like, I, I don't know. Again, maybe I'm wrong. I don't really run decks that have as ad nauseum in them. Mm -hmm. Um, but it felt like, especially because the main focus point of the deck is paying life some way or another. Like even if it's find Necropotence, find Bolas' Citadel, just control the board with Yawgmoth, you're paying your life. Most of the time you're not going even on it. So it's like, yeah. you can cast ad nauseum at 18. And then hit a Sidisi and stop. <laughs> like, yeah. So there's nobody really running Yawgmoth right now, right? Like, there's no sort of established... Um, like, is there a Discord no. for it? I think there's a mono-black Discord. There probably is a mono-black Discord, yeah. I don't, I don't... I haven't seen... Uh, again, when I was researching just to see what I could make of this, um, there was only really one CEDH deck that uh, somebody had made. The rest of the consensus was that he wasn't very CEDH. And, like, I can see that because he's just kind of a, like, you know, like, dorky creature. Yeah. But I don't know. Tim but... is keeping the board clear yeah. of creatures, even just for value, is... Yeah. Like, you're drawing cards off of killing mana dorks, right? Yeah. It's a really good anti-anti-mana deck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe maybe uh, maybe keep your eyes closed and you might see uh, either a primer or a deck tech from, uh, from our friend uh, William here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'll uh, I'll definitely be looking at this and making changes and stuff because this is... It's so much fun <laughs> yeah. yeah cool well with that i, I think we're going to call it for today yep. and uh we'll see you next week hey thanks for checking out the spike feeders on youtube if you're not subscribed yet make sure you click that subscribe button and you can click this link to check out our other great videos